Today's Morning Minute, Stewards of the Mysteries of God. Stewards of the Mysteries of God. And we read in Luke 13, verse 24, Jesus said to them, make every effort to enter through the narrow door because, because many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able to. In 1 Corinthians 4, uh, verse 1, we read, Let a man so account uh, of us as the ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. The mysteries of God are hidden from the religious and the thief. They cannot see or hear God. They're trying to break in and get at the secrets and the mysteries of God. This is why Jesus spoke in parables. Some people hear, but don't understand. They see, but don't, do not perceive. And in Galatians 1, verses 11 through 12, I want you to know, brothers, that the gospel I preach is not something that man made up. I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it. Rather, I received it. I received it by revelation from Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the key that unlocks the spiritual door through the Holy Spirit. Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. God is standing at the door ready, waiting for you to open the spiritual door. He wants to give you his good and pleasing gifts of the Spirit. He wants to guide and teach you on the path of righteousness. These mysteries are stored up for his children. They're not revealed to those that do not have that have not adopted him into his kingdom. These gifts are delivered with the Spirit of God when the Spirit of God is invited into your heart. The Spirit of God is revealed as you study his word and spend time seeking him. Revelation and understanding of God comes to those who seek him. This revelation often comes through our suffering and adversities. This revelation of him comes in your brokenness. The mysteries of God are hidden from your sight and are revealed through his spirit working through you. Paul said, it was not man that taught him, but the spirit of the revelation of Jesus Christ. Who is teaching you today? Lord, I invite your spirit to come into my life. Forgive me of my sin of self-righteousness. Fill me with your Holy Spirit today. Guide and direct all my ways today. Lead me on the path of righteousness. I receive everything you have for me today, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen and amen.